So Esther, Esther couldn't be here. She's she's uh, she's having her baby tonight. So uh, <laughs> she's doing the Tonight Show tomorrow. So, she's, uh, she's in New York. No, give it up for everybody for here. We came out here for moderation. I like this. Uh, I, I think we're very close. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. They can uh, turn it off. Anyways, thank you for having us. We have to get out of here quick because they were playing another movie after this. <laughs> so they told us we only get a couple minutes. So you have these guys. These are the filmmakers. These are the people. This is the backbone for Drugstore June. And, right? <laughs> and my name is Polly Shore, and I'm a friend Polly of... Polly Shore, okay. everybody. And I was, I'm such a good, good person that I was actually in the movie and they fucking cut me out, but I'm still here. <laughs> this cop, this, oh, is there kids here? This cocksucker cut me out of the movie. But anyways, these guys are here. They want to answer all your questions. And that's why we came down here from West well, you're Hollywood. You're supposed so. to ask the first couple questions. Oh, I'm supposed to ask the first, okay. That's what the moderator does. Did you see the movie? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I premiere. saw the movie. It was great. It was a great movie. Um, I love, you know what I love? He's not here though. I love you guys, you guys are great. But I love Esther's uh, ex-boyfriend. Oh, Haley Joel Osment. Yeah. Fucking awesome, right? He's awesome. He's he, great, no, he's a great actor. I loved, I loved him in the movie. Oh, yeah. and, 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 I, and I stalk you on Instagram, right? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. It's well, you did. I, the, we, we met for the first time at the premiere, but years, uh, like a couple years ago, I saw in my message request, Polly Shore, and you just sent me a message that said, funny. And that was funny, Bobby's yeah. a funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Esther, so who wrote the script? Did you write the script with Esther, right? Yes. Yes. So yes. what was that process like? Uh, well, it was, it, we, we were, we basically just wanted to make the Esther movie, the quintessential Esther movie. It, it started way back, I mean, I met Esther in 2012 over burgers one day, which is the perfect way to meet Esther. And uh, we worked together a lot with Jordy over here at Comedy Central on a, a bunch of different things. Back when Comedy Central was actually a place, go on. Exactly. Right. And it just doesn't exist anymore. It, nope. it basically doesn't. We were yeah. kind of like, we did like the last cool thing there, uh, the Esther special, Hot For My Name, in 2020. And I think, Jordy, I mean, are you the only actual comedian to ever work at Comedy Central? I am. Much? Yeah. yeah, the only <laughs> actual. Actually, uh, John Mulaney did, uh, so never mind. Yeah. Well, okay. So you guys wrote it, then you presented it to All Things Comedy? Yeah, event, we, we wrote it after a few years. It, it took a while, but eventually... So just you and Esther sat in a room and wrote it? Uh, yes, uh, or Esther would lay on a couch while I was at the computer You typed time. it? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, but we wrote it together, and then eventually in 2020, after we finished the special, we handed in the script to... Uh, Jordy and the guys over at All Things Comedy, Bill Burr, Al Madrigal, yeah, Mike Bertolino. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And and uh, and then when you when you came up with how'd you come out? Who came up with the the, the you know the premise? Uh, the premise, well, about the, about the drug about the pharmacy being robbed and stuff. Uh, that was kind of something that I cooked up as a way to kind of make the take the Esther stage persona and the stage the the act and kind of make a movie out of it so it wasn't just kind of doing the act on screen just, you know so. and then when you were lucky enough to cast uh oh bobby lee well actually actually How did that happened actually paulie because he's he's in demand right now Shit, he's going to he's going to australia to do a movie with mel gibson next week give it up for oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck, man <laughs> here can you get up for a sec here you're not going to you're not going to Australia to do a movie with Malta. It's Malta. Malta. There's two months. It's fine. Like, okay. but that's good. It's great. It's great. So, that, you. so you're in demand right here. That's the what? Yeah, Passion of Christ too. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing the Resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Paulie, so actually, how did you get Bobby in it? Well, actually, we wrote the part for Bobby. So, so when we started to write the Esther movie, we were like, okay, well, there's a couple things we knew. We knew that we wanted Bobby to play her boss, and we we wanted Brandon to play her brother. So the the part of Jonathan and the part of Bill were written for these two guys right here. So we, we never considered anybody else for the roles. That's great. And then and then the chemistry. Don't you think Esther and Bobby had beautiful chemistry at the pharmacy? That was fun. 
Bobby seemed very annoyed with her in the scene, which was good. He was locked into that character, right? Which was cool. That was good. Was it hard for you to be annoyed as that character? I was annoyed by you. <laughs> not, her, not her. Not her. But thank you for doing that for me on the day, you know? For I love you so much. Giving you the motivation. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordy, and Jordy, you guys shot in an actual pharmacy? We did, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so what was that location and how many days did you shoot physically there? And how much did you have to pay for that location? Because uh, that's it was, always the proof. Uh, it was one of our most expensive locations, but it was the most key location that we needed. Uh, it was in Long Beach and... Um, <coughs> We, uh, it was like a zombie, uh, zombie land uh, outside. Like it was, everybody's just like fucked up on something. Not, not uh, a great part of town. Not a great part of town, but we love the pharmacy. We love the people there. Shout out for uh, millions, for yep. millions pharmacy. They, they were still giving out drugs in the back, the back door while we were shooting a movie. Oh yeah, they were operational while yeah. we were shooting. So. You know, it was tough though during filming with the pharmacy knowing that Bobby was sober as well. Because Bobby's been sober, he's not sober anymore. I'm sober now. You're not sober. Two now. years I just got. Oh, you two years. Two years. Stop doing personal shit and just do the fucking movie. It wasn't. It wasn't sobriety that was tough with Bobby. It was just the script was uh, tough with Bobby. So he, he, didn't, he didn't read the script. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What? I'm oh, sorry. So, uh, can I just say something? Yeah. I gotta get off my chest, okay? Yeah. Thanks for coming, by the way. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for coming. I also have to say this, is that um, I've known this guy for 20 years. I've known Jordy in 1997. 97, yeah. I met him. He was, used to be an open mic comic with me in you, LA. Yeah, and then you, you were in the front row and you're like fucking talking shit to me. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Jordy was a fucking funny comedian. He was yeah. very funny. Very thank funny. You, and we, became, we were friends forever. Forever. Esther and I have known each for 20 So by doing the, the movie, doing the movie was like hanging out with old friends. So that's why I did it. I was just like a, you know, I didn't know anything about the movie. I haven't seen it yet, but. Um, it wasn't for the money. You definitely didn't do it for the money. No money, but I just said, you know, if Esther and Nick wrote this movie, I'll fucking do it because I love them and, and I want to participate and, and, and get involved. And you did. Thank you. And it was very, uh, I like the, uh, the, the, all the, uh, the cannabis stuff. That was cool. The oh, Trevor, Wallace. Trevor Wallace. Yeah, the Trevor Wallace. But the whole cannabis scene was cool. You yeah. know, with, with breaking in and, and the girl that the, the girl that talk like this. <laughs> yeah, she talk like this. She gonna leave with the nails. That was cool. Where'd you come up with that character? Uh, well, that well, we, we we wrote the character just as a normal girl at the register of the weed store. So she was kind of more of just like a regular stoner yeah. girl. But then we were like, oh wait. Bad baby, because I had worked with her before in a few uh, music videos. Right. Gucci flip flops, maybe you saw that one. Uh, and uh, uh, so once we were like, oh, let's do it with Bad Baby, we kind of rewrote it to be more in her voice, so much so that when she read it, she was like, damn, man, this already sounds like me. <laughs> so. And then what about the good looking kid? What was his name in it? The really handsome uh, kid that got to have sex with Esther. He, he is a handsome young He's fellow. a beautiful that guy was man. fucking hot, dude. Oh my God, he's hot, right? Yeah, Danny Griffin? Griffin? Now you like me, dude. He's a real uh, piece of ass. Like, uh, he's beautiful, right? Yeah, not to take anything away from Brandon, but yes, Danny Griffin is handsome. He's, he's a deadpan. He's a deadpan talent right here. Deadpan straight. Guy kind of stole the Great. show over here, yeah. right? Come on. So back to the gentleman that was really good looking. The kid in the movie was. Oh, his sorry, he moved off you quick, man. No, uh, be he's beautiful. He's a beautiful looking kid. Uh, his, name, his name is Danny Griffin. Yeah, he's a, a cool actor out of uh, England. Oh, wow. Out of, uh, uh, was it o o Nottingham? Or where is he from? Oxford? I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, uh, he's from England. And so that was a, uh, that was my main concern because we cast him actually. He was, I think he was the last person we cast. And uh, I was worried if he could do an American accent or not, but I think oh, he pulled it off pretty yeah. good. And then, and then when, um, and when, and then when Esther and, and and Danny kissed, did they open their mouths? Dude, that was actually the very first day of shooting. So she, so the very day one, Esther was making out with Danny. Well, because why do you need to know that? Because Esther's a little horny bitch, and he's a good-looking guy, and she probably loved it. Okay. And her fiance was on set watching it. He did not seem. Didn't he did not seem happy. Maybe, maybe her baby is his baby. <laughs> well, no. That would be good for the pregnant movie. What? No. She was on set pregnant. No, she wasn't. Oh, she wasn't. No. Oh, but maybe then. She's eight months pregnant. We shot the movie in oh, November of 2022. Oh, 
So what was it like working with um, Esther's mom, uh, the late, the, the, the actress, Beverly Jam, yeah, very oh, amazing, legend, yeah, classic, legend. she's been in, yeah. tell the kids who Beverly D'Angelo is in her history, um, and what she's been in, she's been in so many movies. Christmas Vacation. Vegas Vacation. Um, vacation. <laughs> vacation. All the vacations. Vegas Vacation, no, but... American History American X. American History X. Also, uh, mother of Sean Penn's... Not Sean Penn. Fucking Al Pacino. Al Pacino has... Close. But that's not... But I. But that doesn't define her. That... It's just an interesting factoid. But she has, she has a great filmography, and she, she was great to work with, and had a lot of fun stories. We were chain-smoking a lot. And then, you guys smoked a lot of yeah. cigarettes. And, really then, nice. and then her, her uh, father... The, the gentleman that played her father, what's his name? James, James Remar. Remar. Well, he, he has Warriors he, come he, out and play. He wasn't that guy. And he, he was in the, the city fans. He was in the, the city He didn't do that line. But yeah, he, he played a guy with a huge cock on that program. Yeah. Which one? Sex in the City? On Sex in the City. He was, that was oh, like so a star in Sex in the City. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Che Diaz. Oh. Don't fucking touch my face, dude. So he was in Warriors. You guys remember the 1970s classic Warriors? So yeah, because he was in that as well. How did you get a hold of those great actors? Actually, James. Did you work with them? Well, Beverly D'Angelo, uh, we got connected through Robert Schwartzman uh, from Utopia. He was he had worked with her, and he he just told us that she might be interested in this, and thank thank goodness she was because she was tremendous to work with. Read the script, had lots of good ideas, knew everybody's scenes. Uh, and then James Remar, uh, I actually met at a pop-up pizza shop of uh, a friend of my dad's in Venice Beach called Petromali Pizza. Uh, yeah. It's a true story, Bobby. I'm fucking smiling. Okay, all right. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. And, Jordy, and Jordy, the studio, uh, you guys are in co with, with All Things Comedy, and who else did you partner with on this? So, uh, Utopia. So yeah, yeah, Utopia. So All Things Comedy is Bill Burr, Al Magical, who are both in the movie. Al's a detective. Bill, obviously, you guys know he's a doctor. Uh, we also, uh, Shout is our, uh, our distributor. They were our partner on this. And uh, Utopia is uh, Robert Schwartzman's uh, company. And so we, we had a, like, a nice uh, group of people from the comedy side, the indie side, and uh, the distribution so, side. So you had, you had Utopia. Yep. You had All Things Comedy yep. and Shout. Yep. And Shout is my friend Adam right there, right? Adam, yep. this is uh, my friend Adam who's also a rapper. And he was going to do, were you going to do like a little freestyle rap? A little drugstore tune? You guys want to hear Adam? Break it down. Come on, just come on. Just a freestyle. Adam, Adam. Oh, oh, he'd be good on Tiger Belly, bro. For real, he's wild. <laughs> Polly, please. Paulie, please, these people did not show up to talk to me. They wanted to watch Esther Pavitsky, I know I mispronounced it, in Drugstore June into a robbery. But honestly, I think that I should probably leave. I will drop my album. It's called Gonzo Recites Poetry While Defusing a Bomb. It's free. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, I think they're done with me. I think I ought to leave and turn things back to Bobby Lee. See? He would have done better, but you were very resistant. You created a weird energy for him. No, no you did okay, but he, he, he didn't. He didn't. Did, you, did, you, did you feel the energy from me? As, or as, them? As a Rocky Mom, he could have done better. I always feel the energy. <laughs> Well, just, you know, there's other people that do other things besides just, you know, run studios at Shout. He also is a rapper. Anyways. I don't know. I don't know how I got Oh, wow. There's Bobby Lee's brother. Stand up. Take a bow. Turn. That's not my brother. That's not my brother. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. No, this way. This don't way. bow, dude. Oh, oh so no. Don't do that. Don't do the accent. Don't do the accent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What so, the fuck is going on here, dude? This is insane. So... Because this was a comedy, because this was a comedy film. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many cuts did you do? Because you have to keep, hone, it's like Michelangelo. You got to keep honing and honing and honing. Yes. So how many, how many edits? Uh, it, 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 it took quite a few passes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it was probably like a six month editorial process. Uh, we started from November, finished in something like April or yeah. May. 
Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of work. Yeah, and when you and when you shot you shot it, you lock you you had the thing. Did you do some pickup shots a lot of times? No, actually, uh, everything we pretty much we, yeah we shot everything. We didn't really have to drop. It anything. took nineteen days to shoot. Yeah, it was nineteen days to shoot. Yeah. Uh, uh, we didn't we didn't really have to lose anything. We cut one scene with Brandon early on. Uh, that I was resistant, resistant to losing for yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really, you really wanted to. Do yeah, that. it was, it was really funny, but everyone felt like it kind of stuck out. But we lost Esther singing uh, "Rush, Rush." Yeah. The, she, what was the, the scene with uh, full penetration? Oh yeah, the full penetration yeah. scene. Yeah. We you and left Dan on Griffin. the cutting room floor. Yeah. Yeah. And Brandon, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy for? Like thirteen years. Thirteen years. I'm thirty-one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He looks 21, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so who's your, who's your, um, who do you look up to as stand up? Like, who do you love? Because I haven't seen you at the comedy Norm, Norm's store. probably my favorite. Norm McDonald, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, late great Norm McDonald. Because yeah. um, tell me your Instagram. You guys watch his comedy videos, they're very funny on Instagram. Tell oh, them. sure. B S W A R D E L L. It's like when he DM'd you. B.S. Wardell on Instagram. Hey, Brandon. I want everybody, everybody take out their phone right now. Brandon, I slid into your DMs. You sure did. Yeah, Polly, Polly groomed me. Yeah, Polly. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can get the audience to ask some questions. What That's what about? I think, too. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. What I think, too. Yeah, me, too, man. Okay, you guys just saw the movies. Anyone have any questions? Just stand up and ask the question. There you go. What's your name? My name's Chase. Give it up for Chase. Oh, guys, should, should we get a mic? Good question. <laughs> I, I literally, no, I asked you that. I know, you did. I also asked you that. I already told you, that's right. Yeah. Did, uh, how old did you think she was, Polly, in the movie? In the movie, uh, huh. She didn't see it. She's a millennial. She was at the premiere. Yeah, no. I'd have to say she's probably, uh, I'd have to say probably, um, um, probably uh, 32. That's a little older than we thought. I, I mean, we were picturing 27. Esther in reality is 35, but we were like, uh, just old enough to be weird. <laughs> that was a good guess. Okay, who else? Give it up for Chase. That was the first question. Good question. It's commonly asked. Sir? Smart question. How much improvising was in the movie? Bobby, do you want to t tell, talk about how much improvising you did? <laughs> Fucking none. <laughs> uh, I'm, my, okay, I just want to say, my, my part was hard because... He has to be grounded, this pharmacist, and usually when I do stuff, it's like, I'm just so big, you know what I mean? And I know where the laughs are. With this, I had to be so grounded and more of a parental kind of a vibe, and it was, I've never played a guy like that. So was, I had a difficult time with, with it, because I want to explode, but I had to stay contained, so I didn't, I just stuck to the lines and I listened to my director. But you guys like seeing him like that, though, right? You guys enjoy it? I'm not saying it was a bad, I did bad, I'm just saying it was difficult for me. I know, yeah, 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 no, yeah. You're, okay, but you're so. playing a role, so when you get older and you look back on all your great comedy uh, films and stuff that you've done in the past, you go, yo, this was a grounded character, this one's a little goofy. You're, you, you're starting to, you're like De Niro. You're breaking all this. <laughs> no, you're yeah, yeah, just I'm doing saying. a lot of different things. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah, at yeah. that part in your life, 53 years old, 52 years old, and you're very much kind of exploring. <laughs> it's a good age to do that. He just can't moderate. I know. He can't moderate anymore. <laughs> well, he okay. So Bobby did. There was I would say like overall it was like fifteen percent improv improvisation. It was mostly all the script. There was little bits and bobs. Bobby did like he improvised some stuff at the bar there. Uh, Brandon, you improvised a few different things. Uh, all you know. I, I know say. there was one part where he was out of character when he was actually Bobby Lee. It was the part in the scene where they're playing pool and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty much, you know, that's how you always are. What are you saying? All right, next question. All right, I like you in the back on the spectrum. What's up? My name's Matthew. Um, where did the idea for the gummy bear scene come from? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we were just, we were trying to think about, like, what would June imagine, uh, you know, her, her ultimate fantasy life with Owen would be. And we just wanted to continue on with the theme of, the food and honestly, I just thought it was like a cheap gag that nobody's really done before. That's a real gummy bear that we ordered from somewhere from some woman in North Carolina made that for us. And but what was weird or funny was that when we got to shooting that scene, 
uh, which Esther knew about for a long time, and it, it became time for her to hold the baby gummy bear, but we had so much goop and slime on it that she got really disgusted and she refused to touch the gummy bear. And I was like, no, you have to hold the baby. And it took a lot of work. Brandon was there. Was there? It's a true story. No, she wouldn't touch yeah. you. Were touch the you were Brandon, baby. tell us your Instagram again, please. <laughs> Sona Heights. Sorry. Next question, next question. Yeah, in the front. Yeah, we got we got very lucky. That was uh, calling in a fit. So the the question was, how did we get the Voids uh, to get give us their songs? Julian Casablancas and the Voids. Uh, I made a I directed a couple music videos for the Voids, Human Sadness, uh, and uh, uh, cool. I like that you like that one. And, uh, and no, it's true. It's a, I, I like it. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. And another one called Pyramid of Bones. And so I actually did those kind of for basically nothing. And so. When I needed some music for the movie, I called in the favor. I was like, Julian, please help us. And shout out Julian Casablanca because he gave us all that. And then, and then also, that. there's probably a lot of uh, 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 filmmakers here, the people that want to be filmmakers. Can you please tell them how hard it is to make an independent film? And you can please tell them that it's about a group and how everyone pulls. Like you just said about your friend that gave you the song. Like everyone's... Right? Just everybody tell us here, about yeah. everyone just throws in, right? It, everybody here on stage, it, I, I couldn't have done it without these guys. Obviously, we couldn't have done it without Esther. It was a lot of people. It was a long I journey. Mean, I mean, a lot of begging. We're, we're still uh, asking favors to yeah, have drive in the... Oh, so, there was also actors that were supposed to do what, like, Cedric bailed out. Well, we don't have to put people on blast. I want to. I want to. Yeah. Oh, I sure do. C Cedric and Chris Henry. DeStefano. Oh, yeah, I've never I'm pissed that. at Chris. I'm actually pissed at Chris. Yeah, yeah. Not doing it. Joe he Jonas, Joe Jonas, Joe Jonas, yeah, yeah. Cat Williams, Cat Williams. And Sam Williams. 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 got a call. He's like, "Fuck you!" And he just hung up. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah, that's that bad. True. That's true, right there. Santino, fuck that guy. Yeah. Swords and Bales. Swords and Bales. I want to hear about the cat thing. Cat Williams. Yeah, he, Cat Williams was in it for a day. Like, he was going to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He agreed for we, a day. It used to be Nick at the uh, Freddy spaceship, but then we changed it to Nicole when we landed Miss Pat. But uh, Kat was uh, down to do Miss it. Miss Kat's the best, though. Miss yeah. Kat's the best. I love Miss Kat. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we had uh, Gabriel Iglesias, too. He was supposed to be... Uh, Bail. Fuck that yeah, guy. That was a hard part to pass. Nobody wanted to come down. Yeah. We shot that on and Halloween. We, and then we got Miss Pat to come out from Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, yeah it, well, I didn't get a fucking call to be the star. <laughs> That's okay. I'm I'm the star. I star in movies. I don't do fucking cameos. All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Anyone? Question for Bobby Lee. In the movie, which was your favorite scene that you were in, and one that you weren't? He hasn't seen the movie. <laughs> Sit down, sir, for a second. <laughs> Sit down for a second. I just fucking said I didn't watch the movie. Okay? I like you, kid. I do. I really like you. Come on, give me a hug, man. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Okay? Wait. Wait, but for real, you never seen this movie? No, I haven't. Really? It's not a personal thing. I, 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 I've never seen anything I've been in. You were in Polly Shore's Dead. You cut me out of that, fucker. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Right here. Your friend. Special preparations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He put on a lab coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, he, can I just say something? There were other pharmacists there. You know, so... They asked him, did Bobby prepare to be a pharmacist? Bobby? Okay, so what, you, okay, you want to go then? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> I did not. But I showed up and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm a pharmacist? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, right? I put the gear on and there were other ones around that were working. Remember, the, the pharmacist? Multiple. Yeah, so I would ask some questions. They like, were excited. Am I see somebody right? betray them? I mean, where are the, how do you open this? And I ask questions of you. I'm a like visceral on the day kind of a guy. I don't do homework, you know what I mean? Like these other pansy actors. You know? 
Yeah, yeah, very like you know, method. You know? We did though. We did. We had two pharmacists basically in that perch at all times to both show Bobby what to do and also protect him from all the pharmaceuticals and stuff like that. And then when it comes to memorization, you had, you had a lot of lines. How do you memorize? Is there a particular every actor? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Oh, you had no. You had a lot of. Scenes. All right. Go. So, all right, you want to go? No. We'll go. You know we're going to go. <laughs> what? I will, sir. Relax. So, so the, the very first day, I drive to Long Beach, right, and I memorized the first three scenes. In one day? No, like it took me Yeah, it already day. doesn't make sense, does it? What do you mean? In one day, you memorized the whole three scenes. No, no, you no. You can't fool Paul. Three pages on this. Like, you know, I, I knew they were doing three pages. So I memorized the first three pages, and then when it showed up, it was like s different scenes. So I started panicking. Yes, yeah. No. What, but then what happened? You prepared the wrong scene. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but we didn't send you the wrong scene. I know, I just prepared the wrong scenes. I, I assumed it was gonna be these scenes. I showed up, I'm like, oh fuck, I memorized lines I shouldn't have memorized because it's a completely different day. So then I struggled. Mm. And I helped you. Yes, you did. I didn't say you didn't. Well, you kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what happened was, <laughs> honestly, what happened was, we had a tough day the first day. Yeah, we, we screamed at each other. And <laughs> I, we I, seven, didn't, I didn't Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, you did. A little bit. No, no, no. You screamed at okay, me. Anyway, I screamed at him a lot. <laughs> like, fuck you. Oh, because no. Nick, you know, you had a lot of stuff going on that day. You yeah. Got the, you got the craft service, you got the wardrobe, <laughs> you know, you got the lights, you got the sound, you got all this, and this guy's fucking off. No, no, just <laughs> sit down, dude. Just sit down, dude. So, no, no. That's, that's, what, I got, that's, that's, what, what, that's what it felt like. So that day, we had a rough day, but then Sunday, right, we had a weekend off. We we Zoomed you, with each his other. His first day was a Friday. We a Friday. We Zoomed each other. We worked on the other scenes. And then when I showed up from then on, the rest of the day, is, it was magic. I killed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. I had one bad day, and that's it. He apologized. Yeah. He apologized. Yeah. And you wouldn't even know. You, I bet you guys have no clue which scene the meltdown was. I bet you, any guesses? Yeah, see, nobody even knows. The first scene. What other questions? No, no, Anyone? No, no. Now's the time. All the way in the back, the, uh, the girl in the way, way back. Yeah. 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 Let you go because you, you're as close to Esther as I am. Um, I think I think June is an exaggeration version of Esther, but Esther is pretty much that. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. is she's an anomaly, and I, you know, when she was a young comic, I was there when she was in at, at open micer twenty years ago. At what? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> and. As soon as I saw her go up on stage, I was like, oh no, she's gonna make it because she's just, she's always been that girl. I, I heard you tell that story the other day and I felt like the first time I saw her, I was kind of instantly riveted and Me too. mesmerized by her too. Shout out Brody Stevens, who, that was when I first saw her. Yeah, yeah. On the Brody and Esther show. Uh, no, do you have a Brody shirt on? Oh, sick, yeah. Enjoy it, you got it. Eight, one, eight, till I die. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I keep saying, I, I, it's just, okay, go ahead. Also, is there like any of her history like tied into the parent relationship, those characters? In, in, it's her, it, it's, there is little bits of Esther all over there. Like for instance, she used to work at Johnny Rockets, infamously in <laughs> Esther Lore, you guys might know. So Johnny Rockets, Freddy Spaceships. That's where that <laughs> was coming. So, uh, uh, so she, she did work at a place like that. She. I don't want to say she still stalks her ex. -boyfriend. Oh, she's she's like publicly she's yeah. publicly talking about oh this movie is about how a, a girl who's obsessed with her ex, which is based off of me, who I'm obsessed with my ex, and then she's and she's making out with this with this guy, and then the the father of her child is just on set watching all of this. I mean, you got it's a point. shame. It's a good, yeah. it makes me it makes me fucking sick. And so, and so the uh, the ex-boyfriend, speaking of the ex-boyfriend, he was in, was it Sixth Sense? Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Isn't that wild? And, 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 and AI. AI Spielberg. AI, yeah. Spielberg. Kelly. He was a little kid, and now look at him. He looks like a serial killer. <laughs> He's a good serial killer. He blocked me on He's also in The Boys. Do you ever watch The Boys? It's a great show. Right, well, yeah, he's great on The Boys. Any other questions of the guy the, uh, right there in the back? Yes. Uh, what's up with all the food? <laughs> uh, like, why? Just why? I mean, it was like, uh, okay. I guess, you know how, like, what, what? No, it's funny. no, no, no! It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a simple question. It's like you're mad. It's just well, you get, no. I mean, look at the, the yeah, look at that. Look at the fucking the sprinkles on the damn. Yeah. Well, what first the? of all, if I mean, if you know anything about Esther and her persona, she is very food forward. She's very food centric, and so it just made sense. Like the dude in the big. If this is our version of the Esther version of the Big Lebowski, instead of having a joint all the time, she's got food. You know what I mean? So it's like she doesn't actually smoke or drink. And then the uh, the what was it? The um, the, uh, the 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 okay. Anyway, no. I'll... <laughs> I have to. I want to. Like, I mean, I just had a fucking dumb question. But... No, who came up with the the stuff on her tongue? Like, because that was an accident. Or was that pre prepared by the art director? No, no. I I, I think I think that's I... the poster. Yeah. Yeah, so who came up with the yeah. I mean, the key art, I, 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 going back to the question about how, the first question where she was like, how old is June supposed to be? The poster is very Olivia Rodrigo aesthetic. And she is 36 years old. And so it is confusing. <laughs> Good. And that, but we love it. Yeah, as long as you're interested, yeah. that's all that matters. Uh, the sprinkles yeah. thing, I think I, I think I wrote something about June going underneath the register and popping back up and having something embarrassing with Davy walks in and then I think Esther changed it to the sprinkles. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's, that's cool because really that's the poster. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. One last question. Two more questions. Let us do two more questions. Yeah, we'll get in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw on the uh, the Trash Tuesday podcast, uh -huh. Esther had said like the billboard that it was a fake tongue in the picture. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a fake tongue. Know. It's it's not a fake tongue. It's just not her tongue, actually. Yeah. If you know, if you look at it, it's it's because she was pregnant when we were doing this key art shoot, and she was had some sort of gag reflex, and she couldn't she's, do anything yeah. with her tongue. She's been pregnant for three years. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, but so we we had some issues with getting the sprinkles on the tongue during the key art shoot, so we had to have another girl do it. Any other questions over here? Let yeah, let's have some girl questions. Have a girl. Girl, yeah, a girl? Some girl questions. Please, please. Can you tell me what made you guys laugh the most? Bobby Melting Town. <laughs> 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 After the fact. Uh, Him apologizing <laughs> to the crew that day? Yeah. Why <laughs> oh, um, did apologize? He did. Right? You're like, I'm very sorry about my performance today. It'll be better. <laughs> uh, Bobby, what, was, what, what made you laugh? Nothing. You 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 hated every second on. No, 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 no. I should know because I loved the bar scenes because I got to work with Matt Walsh. Oh yeah. And I got to see uh, Steph Tola. Like all my friends were there. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Just from different worlds. And my dad, my dad was there that day. I love your big headed dad. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has a big head. Very large head, but um, <laughs> but it was that was fun because you know it was uh, also I get to improvise and kind of be loose. Yeah. So it was fun. Yeah. I wasn't like this like pharmacist to see these. You know, right. Like, right. Uh, Brandon. Me and Beverly really like bonded, crazy. I miss her. I miss her like hell. I don't know why she's not. She wasn't at the premiere. Well, tell us. Yeah, she's got her reasons. <laughs> yeah, no, she's no, like, everything's what's, okay. What, what's, she's what's, what's, what was the reasons? What was the reasons? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a thing, so go ahead. No, no, she. No one's, gonna, no one's gonna say nothing. She's, no, she. No, was she yeah, sick? Was she sick? Was she? No, COVID, she's not COVID. sick. She's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah COVID, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys done with me? <laughs> what a oh, oh, fucking yeah. worst moderator I've ever. I gotta Wait, get you back. gotta. All right, I'll see you, you later. Question, get Polly Shore a round of applause. Yeah. Okay. We have one more question. Go and then we'll ask. Oh, she has a question. One more. This gotta be yeah, one. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Great question. I don't. You don't. I know? I didn't know. I I like. No, Polly. It's your fucking movie. It's not mine. <laughs> what the? F 
I've never seen it like that. Can I see? Polly Show on the bottom. Richard Simmons and I get a fucking Oscar. Yes! yes. Is that? That's real, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just did that just so he could say he's going to Oscar. Huh? <laughs> he came here just to say that. And I just want to say too, it's like when I was a kid, he could discover me and he always touched my face. And he <laughs> me too. But I hated it, but I, I just, he would, just wouldn't stop. And I'm 52 now, this is 30 years of it. And when he grabs me, it's like a burning, like, acid. I fucking hate it, dude. Yeah, no, I would not want to be touched. But he'll uh, just, he'll do it for the rest of his life. Yeah, he dies soon. He used to touch <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now the real question is, what are you doing? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm a relatively new fan. I don't know if you Who are you asking? <laughs> I, I'm in a movie. I'm in a movie called, um, coming out called Borderlands. It's with Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart. I, I was in a bunch of scenes. I'm in two scenes, but, and I just play like a Crimson Soldier. And then I, I have it. can I plug another movie or no? Go ahead. All right. So me, Theo Vaughn, and Johnny Knoxville did a movie called Sweet Dreams. And it comes out in a month and a half. It's about a halfway house. Mo Ammer's in it. And we all live in a halfway house. We're recovering guys. And we have a softball uh, team. And it's a really cute, heartfelt. He's fucking back. What the fuck? <laughs> Happy birthday! Is it his birthday? No. Okay. Oh, you left it back. Oh, oh no. no, that's the worst. <laughs> what a fool! <laughs> you feel like a fool, don't you? Get the fuck out of here, man. So stupid, dude. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, for real, thank you guys for coming out and congratulations. I know how hard thank it was you, thank you, to make this movie, Jordy. Everyone, yeah, congratulations. That's good, that's good, that's good, guys. We'll go on that note. Thank you, everybody.